Station, Battle Los Angeles movie review. The title is so long, it doesn't fit on the ticket. I do like that Hollywood is now admitting that it thinks its audience so dumb that it feels the need to spell out the events that take place and the location in which they take place. I wonder if they're going to keep it up. Anyway, an alien invasion is not news. At, at, at this point, you know, you wouldn't even really look up from the Sunday newspaper when you hear about it. What makes this a bit different is the perspective. More on that in a bit. The film starts with what's supposed to pass for character development as we find out the names and ranks as if we laymen are supposed to actually know or care about the chain of command. And then the invasion takes place. Now, this is the Paul Greengrass approach. And they actually do slightly better in some ways than him. I was never entirely disoriented by the action, nor did I leave with a headache. And neither can really be said for his action movies. The film is a bit like Saving Private Ryan or Black Hawk Down, similar. The staging of the action, the handheld camera, we get to feel like we're there in the middle of this alien invasion, and something the movie does do reasonably well is making it feel like we are witnessing an alien invasion. It doesn't feel like, oh, look at those effects, that's aliens invading us. No, we genuinely feel like they're all around. And the film focuses purely on the military fighting the aliens. And that's pretty much it. It's an overlong action film that, on account of that, repeats the same formula for scenes a bit. Dialogue is a bit varied. It tries to be clever and succeeds about half the time. The acting's good enough. The most developed character is definitely Eckhart's, and it's fine. There, there isn't a lot of memorable anything in this movie, really. The action has moments of pure awesomeness, but for a two-hour movie, it sure could have had more. I don't think I'm going to remember that much of this film in a couple of weeks. The film also very much feels like an advertisement for American military. There are literally several times where we get the name mention of, you know, you can just tell the scriptwriters wanted people to go home, Google, you know, okay, what is this machine gun really like? What is this missile really like? And, you know, join up. And, yeah, that's pretty much the main reason for the film's Overall, I'm just waiting for a Republican senator to point at this and say, if we cut defense spending, we are not going to be able to push back the alien invaders. All in all, it's decent, and if you really badly want a blockbuster, you can do worse. It gets the job done.